My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. Alrighty, righty, right. Now, that is not the correct direction to... Never mind, it is literally the only correct direction. Excellent. No one's angry behind me. Only anger is in front of me. Gotcha. I really should be switching from power stancing to two-handing when I try and do that attack. That attack specifically being a backstab. Uh, feels like it would be more effective. Okay, you're actually stuck in the wall there, so I'm gonna... Hit you with the spins. Oh, good lord! They actually managed to deal some damage to me. I didn't even think they had the capability to do so. Okay, you actually dropped an item, didn't you? Retain a short sword. That didn't look like a short sword, babe. It really didn't look like a short sword. Very nice. Whoa. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna prioritize her. I don't like being attacked when I don't expect to be attacked. At the very least, have the decency to warn me. Like, yo, we're seriously not okay right now. Beep, beep, beep. I'm coming, motherfucker. Something like that, you know. Doesn't have to be exactly that, but exactly that is actually pretty good. So. These guys are a lot easier to beat than I thought they would be. Initially, the first one I fought, I was like, holy shit. These guys are difficult. Okay, you're over there. You're going to pay for the sins of everyone else you've ever known by dying. You know, it'd be really cool if just occasionally there were ones that didn't have an ice dagger in their hand, and you're like, oh my god, I'm a monster. I'm a motherfucking monster. Um, ring ahead. Ring of the Embedded. Now, what is this one, actually? I don't know what this does. Ring of the Embedded. There we are. Gains surprises, but take increased damage. The fuck is surprises? Gains surprises. But take increased damage. Taking increased damage is such a horrible downside. Is there anything that is worth it? What are these surprises? Dark Dance... You know what? I don't know, and I'm not certain I want to know. Some things were just not meant for man to find out. Uh, is this still blocked from the other side? Yeah. Come on. Oh, you tried. Now you get backstabbed for your efforts. Congratulations! You win! A warped sword to the back! What a prize, Larry. What a prize. Um, I think we actually just got the key for that, but I know this has a frozen mimic in it, and that is dope as hell. Come on. It doesn't even look like the mimic is activated, whereas when he was frozen, he was, so he must have sat back down, I guess, de aggroed and stuff. Why? Why try it that rate? Why? Okay, that's not it. I'm testing all of them because there was just one that was a mimic. But what if it even looked like it moved? What if they were secretly all mimics? Ah, and only one of them appeared as such. Katarina armor. Now, it's unfortunate that I've already sold my Katarina helm and my Katarina legs. Just because I'm... Look, let's face it. I'm never going to wear the Onion Knight set. I just like it, but it's not practical for me as a character. There, I Look, I don't fat roll. That's pretty much it, right? I'm going to be a lot happier if, uh, if I ever get to play Bloodborne. Because in that game, you can just fucking wear whatever armor you want. It doesn't matter. You ain't going to fat roll. There's no fat roll as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware, I hope I'm not wrong about that. But my understanding was there's no fat roll capabilities. Like, it didn't matter your armor weight, pretty much. 
It was just like, you're still going to be able to do the same dodge speed. Okay, Rampart Golem Shield. Um, I guess I still should go through this area. Now there's... Ooh, that area is open. Interesting. Now, where are the invisible fellows? Never mind. I'm just going to run past them. Use a Ferris Lockstone. Hopefully getting some new items. New it. Of course, there's that easy opening on that side. Had to be a Ferris Lockstone. Opening. Uh, Durgo's hat. That increases the range of arrows, does it not? Looks bad fucking ass, at least. Uh, yeah, boosts the range of bows. Monocle's hat for the blue-eyed Durgo. It, it extends arrowed range. The hero Durgo, an expert bowman, and his brother-in-law defended their homeland from aggressors. In spite of Lanifer's policy of isolationism, Durgo was well known even beyond its domain. Look at that ballin' motherfucking hat. Oh, it's even got a cross eye in the center. That's so cool. Unfortunately, it is way too heavy for me to wear. I'm really happy that I can wear the whole Llewellyn set and wield my weapons. Like, this is actually really cool. Uh, now, this was blocked off to me previously. Just stand there and take the damage. Doesn't matter. Tank it. Oh, there's nothing over there. Excellent. Does this just go back to another area that we have... Like, is this a link between areas that we've been to? Or is this an entirely new area? Uh, I mean, we can definitely see an area that we've been to previously. Ambush ahead, be wary of left. Uh huh. One at a time, guys. Excellent. You couldn't withstand that swing, could you? Alright. Something tells me I'm gonna have to bring the fight to these fellows. Rather than let them bring it to me. I'll just do a normal wake up hit. I don't really want to take that much time here. Usually I'd like to do my spin to win wake up hit, but... Yeah. I don't really want to give this guy time to set up anything else. Okay, there's people downstairs from here? Huh. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Sh hidden path ahead in short left. Shortcut ahead. This is a hidden path? It doesn't really look that hidden, to be honest with you, buddy. Oh, Elizabeth Mushroom. This has got to be linking back to the area that doesn't open from this side, right? Yep, yeah, totally is. Totally is. Excellent, we opened a shortcut. Where does this one go down to? And do I not want to explore the other side first? Like, way over in the other- Ooh, and this! Don't I want to explore this? Okay, I have now explored all of that. Excellent, I'm very glad that I took the time to do so. And there's nothing to explore over that side, and- Ooh, never mind, I managed to find a priest's chime plus eight? That would be pretty cool if I was doing some sort of a miracle build. However, I'm actually allergic to miracle. <laughs> oh, sorry, I talked about a miracle build for too long and... Uh... That's how allergies work, right? Even if you talk about it, you sneeze. I'm poorly educated. Alright. Enemy ahead. By the way, weakness is jumping up. Man, it didn't jump off. Uh, sniper required a head. In short, hurrah for ranged battle. So I could take out that guy, I guess. If I was a sniper. Ooh, I can actually drop down there. Okay, I'm not going to be ambushed when I come down here, am I? Yes, I am. But it's not going to be a particularly difficult one. You tried. And I wish you hadn't. Because now it's just embarrassing for both of us. Okay. 
pop a repair powder. At the rate that I'm using these repair powders, I probably should have them on my actual quick use bar, but also, fuck that, so... That's my enduring opinion there. Ring of Resistance? I don't know if I have the first Ring of Resistance. What's it do? Resistance to what? Dispelling, raises... Oh, okay, so I've got like an elemental resist one, which is a dispelling ring. And then this is resistance to poison, bleed, curse, petrify. And then this is just physical defense, so that should also be defense for uh, slash and stuff. Specifically for slash and stuff. Well, no, message needs to be read. Ambush ahead? Oh, really? Is there an ambush ahead? I forgot that I was playing Dark Souls. Whoa. Can I bring the ambush to them? Geronimo! Whoops, that didn't work out. <laughs> that did not work out. Okay. I tried, didn't work out. Uh, I mean, technically worked out. Mimicry not here. Okay, I assume that was already destroyed by the time I came down here. Not my fault. Human effigies from the dogs. I'll keep that in mind, actually. Chest ahead, liar ahead. Liar ahead saying the chest ahead exists. Okay, that makes sense. Roll through all of these so that no one can try and save themselves from my vision. In ambush ahead in short beast. You tried. Okie dokie. Clean them all and nothing over there. Brilliant. Saw something in the distance. It was just the corpse of a previously slain dog. So this is actually an entirely new area. Unless... Oh, that links back up. Okay, never mind. This is not an entirely new area. That is the linking stage to get back up to... Castaway Witch Donna. Hey, Donna. Donna. That was real easy. Up! Oh, I have discovered what makes it not easy. It is the existence of her friends here. Okay, he will be deceased soon, and then I'll work on the Castaway Witch. Come on. I mean, you hit me? Whoa! Okay, that went straight through me. I feel like I should be dead, but I'm not, so that's okay. Be wary of friends, friend ahead. Bean pole. Hurrah for hope. A knight of Elium Lois seeks the chaos. Okay. Uh <laughs> I mean, now what? Is that the end of the path? So if that's what I was seeking out, that has to be something of, like, extreme power. A Knight of Elium Loy seeks the chaos. Okay. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't particularly know what I'm going to do with that, but yeah, cool. We've got a Knight of Elium Loy seeking the chaos. Glad to hear it. Uh, so that links back to there, that links back to there. I'm just trying to map this whole area in my head. It might take a while. My brain is it's a bad one. It's not a good brain. Oh shit, this is like a Midgard. This isn't the top, is it? No, never mind. Oh shit, this is definitely not the top. Does this go back up? No, okay, so this doesn't link to where I thought it did. Huh. So... 
If I've freed one knight of Elium Lois, is that the only knight? A knight of Elium Lois. A. The fact that it says a knight of Elium Lois and not the knight of Elium Lois makes me feel a little like there's more. Like the knight of Elium Lois uh, seeks the chaos. That would be much more finite, right? That would be much more, yes, you found the knight. There is one, the. Doesn't feel like what's happening here. Now, there were frozen things in this area, so I will actually continue through this. Uh, I actually have no Estus, I've only just realized, so I am going to rest here for a second. I like being human because my character is handsome as hell. Just look at that shit and tell me he's not a handsome motherfucker. Actually, that's incredibly vain of me to say because <laughs> I, I seem to remember saying that I was trying to base the character off of myself. No, he's got much, like, taller of a face than I do. I tried to do the same thing for Fallout 4, base the character off of myself, but it looks nothing like me. At all. Unless people are moving into backstab- oh my god, I just wakened the knight- uh, the- Oh, hang on. Is it- is it alive in a bad way or a good way? I have to assume a bad way because it's not attacking my foes. Actually, it's not even a... Oh, it is targetable. Shit. I thought it might go over there in order to build, like, a bridge for me or something, but, uh, nope. Looks like I have to kill it. Okay, it's fine if it's got really slow lumbering attacks, because I can deal with that easily. Okay, that was more of a clap than a grab. And spin to win. 3.2k souls. Not bad. Not bad. For a very small investment of time. Okay, I need to lead this guy over here so that I can resurrect this fellow. Come on. Come on. Closer. Okay, that's exactly where I want you. Perfect. Souls bring this guy to life. He tries to fight me. And it doesn't seem to work out. Wowzers! My standard attack does almost nothing in comparison to that. I wonder if I'm getting anything, really, for killing these guys. Oh shit, Mimic. What? What? Huh? No, 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 the fuck occurred there? I assure you, I absolutely assure you, video game, I was not in an area that would allow the beast to do that sort of a thing to me. And now I lose humanity. Well, humanity, I lose human form. And I might have to kill the giants again if they respawn. If they don't, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to kill the giants again. This is all bullshit. Left, right, and center. Full of it. There is nothing here that does not qualify wholly as entire bullshit. Hey, get out of here. Great. Never mind. I was going to try and use some items and stuff. Make this easier for myself. Doesn't look like it's going to be easier. Okay. 
Pop some healing supplies. May have popped one too many. That's fine. One down. All right, giant. Come on. You pussying out, giant? You don't think you got what it takes to go up against the master? I understand. I understand if you're scared. Boom. Okay. Let us reclaim what is rightfully ours in not only our souls, but the souls of all of these people. Now, I'm not going to use that to awaken the giant. Uh, I'm going to use this to awaken the giant, killing this mimic here. Touch my bloodstain. Thank you. And that goes, awakens him. Okay, just the clipping for those guys. I know that I realized in like episode 40 that those guys were bugged in that way. But I really didn't think it was actually that bad. That's pretty atrocious. Okay, human effigy. Hey, that actually pays for... A symbol of Aravis. Aravis. Avarice, sorry. Avarice, uh, the symbol thereof, rather. Headpiece depicting the avaricious, avaricious creature that mimics treasure chests, increases soul absorption and item discovery, but steadily drains HP. There is a curious tale of an incorrigibly covetous ancient deity. Clearly, it has currency against some miscreants, or this would have never been created. In the first Dark Souls, you got that after killing all of... Who? Damn, that's quite a haul. You got that after killing all of the... Uh, whatchamacallits. All of the whatchamacallits. You remember the whatchamacallits, right? Uh, the mimics in the world. But you could also get it just by using the... Lloyd's Talisman on them. Just a bunch. Which was kind of cool as well. Because that kind of counted as killing them, as far as I remember. Uh, okay. This is the weird thing here. I'm going to have to kill these guys next to... Fucking... Whoa. Okay. Calm your shit. Jesus. That was kind of brutal. I'm going to have to kill those guys directly next to those giants up there so that I can actually wake them from slumber. And then I'm going to have to deal with the giants and these angry dudes at the same time. It's not going to be a fun idea. Okay. I don't think that's going to be close enough to waken one of the giants, but uh, hopefully it is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find someone else and lead them back here. Oh, actually, no. I only need to awaken one of the giants in order to get to the chest in the center. What? That got a giant awake. Oh shit! I wonder if killing one of the giants in front of the other giant will actually uh, work as well. There's one way to find out. Oh, actually, never mind. I've woken both giants. Whoops. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Why did I even try that? In what universe was that going to work out well for me? <laughs> oh, man. That was stupid. That was definitely stupid. Okay, this guy, come over here. I want to see if I can get this one to work. Okay. Kill you directly in front of your friend. And then have them absorb your... Yeah, it totally does. Lovely. I want to see if maybe I get something for killing all of the giants in the area. Other than, you know, the satisfaction of killing a species. Okie dokie, not a mimic. Also doesn't appear to be trapped. Please be something worth my while. Curved nil greatsword. Not really worth my while? 
Um, not as far as I can tell, at least. Where is this great sword? Curved nil great sword. A curved great sword with an ominous blade. One of the forbidden weapons sealed away by the Ivory King, formed by rock, tree, and the remnants of the most peculiar soul. It is said the farther the wielder travels, the deadlier the blade becomes. I wonder what the mechanic for that is. It, like, the more steps you've walked without touching a bonfire? That seems like... Ooh, there's a chest up there that I can't access. Huh. Uh, that seems like it could be the mechanic for it. That doesn't seem too far-fetched in my mind. Um, but without that buff, is it actually even going to be a reasonable weapon? I'd have to guess no. Okay. Then I can kill this guy, because then I just bait this guy over here. <laughs> hey! In order to kill the last of the giants. Come on. Die in front of your friend and wake him up. Wake him up inside. Can't wake up and save me. One down. The other one's also being damaged. Oh shit, you can damage them in their waking up state? Okay, if I had have known that, I would have been doing that this whole time. Easily done. Wait, one of you actually dropped something. Thank you for the human effigy. I really actually do need those. Hurrah for illusory what? Wall. By the way, liar. Oh, okay. Never mind. Be wary of liar. Liar ahead. Okie dokie. I am very, very wary right now. Excuse me. Something is being reanimated somewhere. Illusory wall ahead. Why am I so trusting? Flame butterfly. Why? Damn it. <sighs> really should just ignore all of those. Friend ahead, friend ahead. Uh, uh, we found another one. What up, buddy? Friend ahead in short, in short vision of boss. Uh, this guy is a boss? Is that what that's implying at least? A knight of Elium Lois seeks the chaos. And then there's also this, which is described as a shortcut. Now, where is this a shortcut to? I... Ah, okay. So this is below, uh, well, actually before Arva. No, you have to get through Arva. Okay. No, this is after Arva. Interesting. Interesting. Now, there was another path down here that I believe I could have taken, so I'll uh, quickly go back and double-check on that one. Hmm. I don't know if I am going to get anything for killing all of these dudes, especially since I happen to know, uh, because I did die once, that they respawn. So also don't know how I'm going to get up there for that. Ambush ahead, be wary of ghosts. Yeah, don't worry, it's fine. Okay, cool. Just had to make sure that he hadn't invaded my world without sending, like, an invasion message at all. Um, yeah, and this drops back out to just after Arva. Okay. Well, just before Arva for this one. Is there anything else that was frozen that I wanted to go through? I still think there is, but I can't remember where. That's the big problem we're facing right now. But you know what? That's a problem we're going to have to face next time because now we're at about 27 minutes, 29 minutes rather. So I'm going to have to say that my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Dark Souls 2 Scobble First Sin. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It doesn't get my content out to new people. And there's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Dark Souls 2, past, present, and future. And hopefully we will see you next time.